Well, how can I protect myself and my family? It's a question that some residents in Green Bay are asking after a rash of burglaries a few months ago. Now, police say three neighborhoods on Green Bay's west side were hit, and tonight they met with those residents. Fox 11's Becky DeVries was there and has tips on how to keep your home and your family safe. While you may think crime doesn't happen in your neighborhood, police say that attitude may be exactly what invites criminals in. We still need to understand how we can best protect ourselves and, and if there's other things we can do, you know, keep an eye on each other a little bit better. Police say watching out for your neighbors is one thing you can do to reduce crime, something some of Green Bay's west side neighborhoods would like to see. And it's getting worse. The Green Bay Police Department reports that from November 12th through December 13th of last year, there were 78 burglaries in the city. Nearly half of them were on Green Bay's far west side. Um, most of the entries uh, were unlocked homes. So just the simple precautions. The police department held a special meeting with neighbors to let them know what's going on and how to prevent that type of crime in the future. Police say if you come home and discover someone is broken in, wait outside and don't touch anything inside the home. Write down serial numbers for electronics. That way, if they are stolen, you can reclaim them. And keep your locked vehicle in a locked garage. You can get a home alarm system, but police say there are cheaper alternatives like this door bolt. The pieces sell at hardware stores for about $10. The older we get, the more frightened we get because we're not quite sure, you know, what's going to come next. Neighbors left the meeting with some information and hope for a better future. In Green Bay, Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News. Now, if you live in Green Bay, you can also monitor police calls made in and around your neighborhood through a website the police department has been working with for the last few months. You can find that link on our website, fox11online.com. And police have arrested one man in connection with the burglaries. They are still working on a number of open cases.